Hand carved Italian, it's Italian. Interesting piece, beautiful. 18th century, set on a marble base. And when you looked at it, you just actually wanted to touch and feel it. Very tactile, beautiful. And the guy that bought it, actually it's an interesting story. He was adopted by an Ita Italian lady. It meant something, he had a strong faith. He looked at and he just it paired with his mother. We've been in this particular shop for 15 years now and we absolutely love what we do, which is the most important thing in life. We share everything together, there's only me and the wife. We love talking to folk, we love uh, sourcing stuff which is very, very important and very hard, and getting harder to do, but we genuinely love it. Well, I've been retailing all my life. First shop when I was 17 was 3 by 21 totally different than this, fruit and veg, but I've always liked retail. Eventually, when me and Anthea got married, I said, what would you like to do? And she says, I'd love to have a wee shop. So we searched around Northern Ireland. We opened our first shop in Scotland. We had three uh, shops and then on the downturn, we sold those and we came back to Hollywood here. We seen this was vacant and we thought perfect place uh, to do our own thing, sort of slightly out of the way from the main street. And we bought this premises and we just went from strength to strength. Well, it's definitely an emporium because um, we're always trying to find something which is totally different. Uh, we've had to change uh, the whole business. Uh, at the very start it was all gifts and the gift trade has completely gone down the tubes with the internet. You know, so we, we, we've uh, went down very much vintage, retro, antique and we mix it all together because we feel if you just do the one parameter it will not work. You can't come in with antiques at 200, 300, 500, you know, big, big money stuff. You need those items there. Hopefully you'll sell them, but you need those there to, to make the other stuff look, you know, look really good. And also, to be honest with you, it's the 10 to 20 pound items that's going to sell quicker than anything. You know, you go to an online store, they're not going to have definitely the, the tenth of what we have. Um, we source stuff from all over the world. Different stuff, retro stuff, vintage stuff, antique stuff, uh, uh, and a uh, lot of lot of reproduction stuff as well. But it does mix in, and you know we're always looking for different items. Uh, we like dealing with small companies, to be truthfully honest, and I think that's why we're different. We don't want to deal with big companies. We like to deal with individual uh, family or entire companies or husband and wife teams, just like ourselves. We just got this this new gardening stuff in uh, from a husband and wife team in England, and they're such a nice couple, and their quality, their stuff's really nice, and they're trying to do something which is totally different they're trying to sell a new item yet it's antiquified it's sandstone it looks Georgian yet it's not and, and when you see the price of the stuff then you realize gosh, the, the value of it you know if you look uh, outside here particularly uh, at, the, at the signs the retro the vintage signs the copy signs all these types of things and the first thing you'll come to mind you think oh man well you'd actually be wrong because the majority of people who buy these particular signs, right, okay, there is a lot of men, it's the, it's the women in their life who buy them, so they're bought for presents, and, and there is a lot of women who collect too now, you know, we can't, we can't be saying they're just men collect, uh, so I, I would say it's a good 60-40, uh, believe it or not, more women buy the signs for their men than men buy them for themselves. Now, we do jewellery as well, we have a big, uh, uh, a lot of Asian stuff in the shop, Japanese, Korean, etc., and definitely that is for somebody who's got more money in their pocket, let's put it that way, because they are more expensive items, and certainly not the younger ones. The younger people will, will go for the comics, the LPs, and quirky stuff. So if we get anything quirky, it's definitely the younger folk who are buying them, that. I think the most interesting thing which I've sold, which I totally regret, was a uh, screwdriver, which possibly could have put the rivets into the Titanic. Four feet long, and it definitely come from the shipyard. 
So, you know, there is that possibility it could have been used on the Titanic and we sold it for £60. I mean, I, I don't know why I sold it, and I, I still don't know why I sold it. An original Donald Duck statue was about three and a half foot tall, and that comes from Disney World, and that was a very highly, that was a very early piece, early 50s. I wish I hadn't sold that because I love Donald Duck. <laughs> and we've also sold a, a mummified miniature head inside a jar, probably the three of the more, more interesting things that we have sold. Very, 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 very important to keep shops, small shops open because it's the whole life of the town. If small shops go, the town centre will go. It's as simple as that. And we'll be internet this, internet that. And it, it's so important. It's so important for young people, so important, which probably don't realise that. Elderly people love coming to small shops. They don't necessarily want to buy something. They just want to come in and say hello. And if you can, you know, say hello to somebody, keep them happy, have a smile, it, it makes their whole day.